So who am I speaking with? So my name is Michael Kara. I'm working for Microsoft and I'm representing the Academy team. Academy is, in a nutshell, uh, the YouTube of the enterprise. And I'm, I'm running this uh, program within Microsoft. So explain what this is specifically. It's a ton of videos for Microsoft, right? Yeah, what it basically is, it is a portal. Think about implanting the YouTube idea into an corporate environment where users can create, can generate content, upload it, and make it available for other employees who may, might be possibly in need of this uh, knowledge someone else uh, has generated. And really all you're selling is this one you know, website internally to the entire company. It's not you're selling specific you know, videos, but just everyone knows this one website to find all content, right? Yeah, what we created is basically a central repository for video content, for webinars, so that it is very easy for an employee to find content for whatever topic they are interested in. If they have a, a work challenge, if they need product information, if they want to find out what the executives have in terms of new strategies, they can find all of that in one place, one place to go, which is our Academy portal. So how many videos do you have? How long have you had it up? And I mean, what's the success failure ratio? Like, I'm looking for a video on this. What are the chances I'm going to find it? So we have about 20 to 25,000 pieces of content. It's a mixture of audio, it's a mixture of videos and webinars. Um, the success rate for an employee to find the latest content is very high because just as it gave you the numbers of 20,000 plus pieces of content, you have the depth and you have the breadth of content. Uh, easy digestible, usually uh, one hour formats for webinars, usually three to 15 minutes video content. What we also do, we provide PowerPoint uh, presentations. Let's say someone has, has recorded a webinar the employee not only has access to the recording, but also to the uh, underlying documentation such as PowerPoints, white papers, links, and so forth. So it's very, very um, popular. And what is, uh, last question, what is the next stage for the site? I mean, what are, you, what are you hoping to do with this that it's currently not doing? So we have become, uh, over the last three and a half years, to a Microsoft-wide asset, meaning we are now one of the biggest portals within Microsoft. Um, the key difference is that it's a, a voluntary portal. So basically people are not forced or have to go to this place. They go by their own choice to find the latest content. This was one of the key goals we wanted to accomplish. Um, the next goal is we want to enable it even more with uh, social media features. We want to also integrate it with other Microsoft products such, such as the my site where you can create your own profile where can you do blogging um, we want to make it even faster and now have, we have about 55 percent of all Microsoft employees using it and we hope that this year we might get to 70 to 80 percent of all Microsoft employees using it